Oh, great. Okay, great. Thanks, Lucy. Yes, thanks everyone for joining and hopefully you get one or two small nuggets uh, from this webinar. Um, we also have uh, design engineers here. You can chat your questions and they'll answer those uh, as the presentation is going forward. Um, and I know there's a lot of people with a lot of experience out there. So uh, if you have a specific application, please ask and hopefully you can go away with one or two nuggets uh, from this webinar. So uh, yeah, so uh, I think you can go to uh, slide six, Lucy. Uh, yeah, two, sen two sentences about Sierra. So we operate from Sunnyvale and Wisconsin. And so we go from prototype manufacturing to volume manufacturing in Wisconsin. and. We do, we are NADCAP, ITAR, you know, all of that. So especially for military folk or high complex uh, PCBs, I think we're a good fit that way. Uh, and we also do assembly as well. So a full turnkey, if you will. So when the board is critical, plus the assembly and, and you want one person to be responsible for everything, um, you know, that's, uh, I think we are a good fit there. So, uh, yeah, slide six, we can get started with the webinar. So really for uh, operating uh, voltages and applications for high voltage PCBs, anything that's higher than 100, or about 100 volts, we would consider as uh, an NHV design. And so you definitely always follow safety and reliability measures. And uh, I, you would find yourself in one of these kind of categories um, or end applications um, with high voltage um, application. Uh, slide seven. So some of the design challenges, um, you know, the direct arc over or the corona uh, can can occur. And a direct arc over occurs suddenly when the voltage potential between the two conductors exceeds the ionization value of the insulator between them. And a corona is an electrostatic discharge caused by the ionization of the surrounding air and material that degrades the insulation material. So in order to avoid these, uh, consider your operating frequency. So arcing can happen at lower voltage and high frequency. You need to ensure that the conductors have optimum clearance between them. Uh, altitude uh, at the, which the op application operates. So creepage and clearance distances vary with the height from the sea level. Uh, cleanliness, uh, exposure to dust and moisture can increase the risk of direct arc over and corona. Um, you can use a fan to maintain cleanliness. Uh, you can increase spacing as much as possible. Uh, and then we talk about cleanliness also at the later half of the presentation. Uh, consider operating temperature and size and weight uh, of your board. Um, slide eight. So these are the regulatory standards for high voltage designs. The two most important standards are the IPC 2221B, um, which includes uh, um, some details in the IEC UL 6950, second edition. I mean, you should be familiar with these uh, standards, I guess, for best board design. Slide nine. So importance of the comparative tracking index, it's the one of the most important parameters to consider when choosing the materials for your high voltage designs. It's the voltage at which the PCB substrate begins to break down. Uh, so above the CTI, the material begins to carbonize and becomes more conductive. Uh, this increases leakage current and accelerates the breakdown uh, over time. 
So the table shows um, the material groups for the CTI levels. And if the operating voltage of your design is greater than 600 volts, you need to choose a material that falls under CTI zero group. So, uh, apart from the CTI, here are the other selection parameters that you need to consider. So, high resin uh, prepregs for inner layers. Um, and then we name some glass styles. Uh, and then high TG materials uh, to avoid thermal damages. Uh, high dielectric breakdown, high tensile strength. Uh, so these are some of these are just, uh, I would say, just good rules of thumbs, uh, but also still important for high high voltage PCBs. Uh, resistance to chemicals and oxidation, cap resistance, low outgassing, um, et cetera. So you have to consider the aging. Um, so the aged voltage ratings, uh, which we get down, which we get into more detail. Uh, slide eleven. Uh, so for material selection of HEV PCBs, uh, small glass weave allows for high resin penetration. It prevents the micro bubbles, improves density in the multilayers, uh, ensures a void free uh, lamination, and it inhibits the corona effect. So heavy copper weights are used to withstand high currents and enhance mechanical strength. And the layers should be isolated using high resin prepreg to reduce the voids. Um, and to minimize the effects of material outgassing, you can uh, slow bake a finished board. Um, and uh, that helps a lot. Uh, you can also do an additional bake. Uh, at 300F for 46 hours if your board operates at low atmospheric pressures or vacuum. And then something not mentioned here is uh, if you're not going to use your boards right away or assemble them right away, make sure you vacuum, vacuum pack them and add a desiccant. Uh, and that should be on your fabrication drawing. Uh, slide 12. 